Hi and welcome to Friday's Live Trading. I hope you're very well. As you can see, there's a slightly different twist on today's um, video. So um, I thought I'd give it a try and see what you think. And anyway, so it's what, 20 to 8 in the morning and I have just closed out of a trade um, with the guys. Uh, I did a trade in the in the trading room with the guys yesterday um, on the euro dollar and it's, we've just closed it out. Um, entered in at, what well, was actually 47, but it's... Um, it adds a, a, a bit of a pip um, overnight charge when you first do it and so and just to exit it at 105.967 so best part of um, 50 pips just just shy of 50 pips there um, now the euro dollar um, I've come out we've come round number and all of that um, and we've hit like an hourly 100 and all that now I did have a slightly higher um, target which is the 4 hour 50 um, so I'd like to for the euro dollar to ultimately get there, but I'm waiting to see if I can get a setup, a, a re-entry here today. Because I've just seen this um, this hourly chart, seen that the euro has come into this hourly 100 zone. So I'm looking to see if we're going to get a little bit of a, a reaction from that over the next couple of hours, and then I'll see if I can get another entry. So we shall see about that. But if it goes straight up from here, then um, then I may then I may miss out a little bit. But well, we'll see. Maybe I'll just buy the breakout unless it's diverging. Ah, it probably would be diverging if it does go up. So I think a little bit of patience here. So I'm going to press pause for the time being and we'll come back to this and see how we're getting on. Okay, so what I'm now looking for is the euro's just done this done this little pullback. It's bouncing back up again at the moment. It's just hit its 8 a.m. pivot down here. And so I am going to just to hold it, hold fire for the time being. We banked that profit from yesterday, but... I just want to hold fire. Now I've only here today until I've really only got until late morning to to identify an opportunity because I'm flying out um, this afternoon. So um, I need to find an out and out day trade or a trade that I can get in, which um, I might hold over the weekend, but from a much better better price level. So I still see this potential here on the euro as. Um, some more upside potential um, but I just want to wait for a deeper pullback as far as that's concerned rather than buying it up high up here and then just having a needless stop out um, or having to have a, a stop way down so I've got to just be patient and see if I'm going to get that so that's what we'll do we'll just carry on uh, watching for the time being there's some cable news out at, at 9 30 so I could look to trade cable on the back of that news so um, we'll see about that so I'll press pause for now Okay, so just back. Um, we haven't actually had anything else here, or I haven't had anything else here today. Been a little bit choppy. The euro went a little bit higher, and then it's just rolled over. It diverged there, and nev nothing really of, of that much interest to me. There's been a bit of movement, but nothing of major interest. So keeping the profits here today and um, that, that's been generated, I've already covered off. So just under 500 bucks um, from that trade that's closed out this morning. So I shall leave that with you. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week.